Good morning, folks. How are you doing? Today is the 24th day of January 2024. It is the day after the New Hampshire primary. I'm going to make two quick videos for you this morning talking about a couple of things. I'm going to break them up so that it's easier to follow along. So it's uh, so um, you don't have to watch 30 minutes or something that you don't want to listen to to see something else. Uh, it's taken me all these years to figure that out, I guess. Um, we're going to start off talking about uh, the New Hampshire primaries. What happened with the New Hampshire primaries? I'll tell you right now, something fishy happened with the New Hampshire primaries. People will be like, well, Scott, Trump won handily by about 11 points. So, I mean, come on, you're obviously wrong. Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. We have to remember that a primary is a marathon. Or um, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those races that are run in stages. Like uh, uh, what's the Tour de France or some shit. It's one of those things that run, it, it's, it's a race that's run in stages. It's cumulative. Close matters it's not all or nothing you get all the fucking electoral college votes or you get no electoral college votes um so these 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 points will add up uh and as long as nikki haley can stay close something wild could happen in a state like say california where all of a sudden the race turns. Okay? As long as Nikki Haley can stay close. But did she deserve to stay close in New Hampshire? First of all, I just want to show you what a controlled asset is. This is a controlled asset. Jackson Hinkle is a controlled asset. He's acting as if he's front and center leading the charge for the Palestinians and bemoaning fucking the Zionist coalition in, in Israel, including Bibi Netanyahu. Yet, uh, here he is promoting Bibi Netanyahu back in the day. Um, you know who else has a good working relationship with Benjamin Netanyahu? Vladimir Putin has a very good working relationship with Benjamin Netanyahu. I'm actually happier that for the sake of, you know, the multipolar world order, that he is in power right now pre compared to the previous coalition in Israel. Xi Jinping of the Communist Party of China has a good working relationship with Benjamin Netanyahu, better than the previous coalition. So, um, you he, know who else has a good- He pretends to be on the side of the multipolar world order, but he's 100% he's opposed to it. Uh, here he is promoting fucking Benjamin Netanyahu. He's a piece of shit. He's always been a piece of shit. There you go. That's my opinion, and that's the end of it. Anyway, I thought I'd toss it out there. That's, that's how- that's how controlled opposition works. Let's take a look at this for a second. Right now in the GOP delegate tracker, Donald Trump has 32 delegates. Like I said, this is close matters. This is cumulative. Nikki Haley has 17. Which is like, well, he's, he's blowing her out of the water. Eh, this is the first time that there was no Ron DeSantis. Look at the delegates assigned from New Hampshire. There's only three difference between them. Three. Is that, does that seem odd? Do those numbers to you seem odd? I'm going to show you in a few minutes where even in her home state, Nikki Haley in the polls is getting wiped out by Donald Trump. And in the lead up to this, New Hampshire race. She was again getting wiped out. No question. They have a bunch of takeaways over here at fucking uh, Nikki Nikki Haley set to head to South Carolina, projected optimism despite the challenges facing her campaign. She understands. They will keep her close. And then in one or two states, all of a sudden, she will surge ahead. 
And when big, people will say, what? And their eyes will pop open, but they will attribute it via the narrative to her being, quote, a person of color, end quote, or female, girl power, whatever the case may be. Or maybe they'll come out with something new against fucking Donald Trump and go, oh, look, right before the California primary, and that swayed the voters. They've got to keep it close. 17 to 32 is not landslide. If they can keep her close in these early ones, and no one's paying attention to the detail, to the minutia, then maybe they can swing a couple of votes, quote unquote, in these big states, in Florida, fucking <laughs> California. She's not going to drop out. They're positioning her for something. What? Don't know exactly yet. But they're positioning her for something. Look at this. These are the numbers. With how many votes? 91% uh, counted. Trump is at 54.5%. This is 538. And I will tell you something. Polling matters. They try to tell you it doesn't. They try to tell you at, in, the, in the aftermath of these quote-unquote elections. Ah, oh, polling gets it wrong. Polling does this. Polling does that. Bullshit. If polling didn't work, they wouldn't fucking do it. The campaigns wouldn't pay for it. They need to get an understanding of how they're doing. They need to get an understanding of where they sit. <laughs> polling matters. Where was Donald Trump two days before the election? Well, the Boston Globe, a big fucking poll, Republican primary poll, January 21st through 22nd, the day before. Donald Trump was at 60%, Nikki Haley was at 38%. Somehow or another, the next day, her 38% turned to 43% and his 60% turned to 54%. They got closer. They got a lot closer. <laughs> you can see here, something happened on... The 14th, Ron DeSantis dropped out two days ago. Well, three days ago now. Three days ago. Right before that Suffolk County poll. Where had Haley been before that? They keep saying she was at 34. I don't trust any of this. I don't trust any of this. Because that would have meant she was beating fucking, Nikki Haley was beating fucking Ron DeSantis. Then uh, he, she wasn't. So I don't know what the fuck that is. That might be some kind of cumulative fucking thing. I don't know what that fucking is. Um, but as you can see, uh, old Nikki here, I, I don't know what this is. American Research Group came up with Nikki Haley almost beating fucking Donald Trump in one of these. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. But as you can see here, on the 14th, Around, around about the 14th, 13th. They both made these huge fucking strides, these huge jumps, and I don't know what the fuck that was, what, what caused that, because obviously, Ron DeSantis hadn't dropped out. But this is New Hampshire. I want to show you something. This is what's going to happen in South Carolina. South Carolina is her fucking home state. And this is where she is in South Carolina right now. <laughs> Trump is at 62.2%. And Haley is at 28. That's huge difference. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a huge difference. How many, uh, let's go to uh, presidential election calendar here. The South Carolina fucking... Uh, 
primary, Republican primary, is going to be held on the 24th of this month. And there are 50 delegates up for grabs. 50. That's a lot. And she's getting her ass smoked in South Carolina right now. That's not that long from now. That's not that long from now. And that's probably going to increase. And yet, we're going to have to see how the fucking election breaks, how the, how the, how the primary breaks down. See, we can get into this now because now we're using some form of electronic voting machine counting. So either the AccuVote, that's accurate, right? But at least there are, there's a paper trail with these, with these uh, scanners. Um, at least it, with, the, with the scanning systems, there, there is a paper trail. You can actually go through and count and see uh, the ballots that were scanned in. Uh, nine times out of ten, they're not going to be the same fucking numbers as what's reported, but... Uh, at least there is that. Um, South Carolina doesn't have that. Well, they, they have some of them, I'm sure, but they are also a black box voting state, as are a lot of the rest of the states that we have to, uh, uh, that we have coming up. Here's just so you can see, Ron DeSantis did in fact drop out two days ago, three days ago now, um, which made headlines, and I told you, um, how does Ron DeSantis drop out? And apparently, the only one who really benefits from it, uh, because Trump didn't, he lost votes when Ron DeSantis dropped out, is Nikki Haley. That doesn't make fucking sense. Some percentage of Ron DeSantis voters are going to say when Ron DeSantis, when Ron DeSantis comes out, and endorses Donald Trump, some of his voters are going to fucking go that direction. Apparently not. Because according to polls, from New Hampshire, according to polls, Donald Trump lost votes. Lost numbers. I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, here we go, 60. I don't know why that says 50-something. I don't know why it says 50-something. Because clearly right here it says 60. I, I don't know what's going on with this. This is There's no way Haley got 38% of the fucking... There's no way. It shows here she's got 38. That's, that's accurate on this, according to that. That's about 38, right? But here, for some reason, it's showing 53. It's showing 53 probably because... Uh, that's the number that came up with. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can trust this less. I don't know. But clearly they're telling you right here that this was the most recent fucking poll and it clearly shows him at 60% and her at 38. And that's a big difference. And it's certainly a big difference when you consider... He was looking at 60% of the vote in the most recent poll in New Hampshire, and he ends up at 54.5. Now, I don't know how many Nikki Haley would have gotten in the Republican. There are a bunch of never-Trumpers in the fucking Republican Party. There are a bunch of rhinos in the Republican Party. And maybe they did have some folks come in from the fucking left who signed up and said they were independents and they voted for um, Nikki Haley. That's a, that, I'm sure that's a possibility. I'm sure it's a possibility. However, um, that's a big drop off. And we'll see what the next ones are. Now, the next one's going to be uh, Nevada. Nevada's the next one. And that's on the 8th of February. So let's take a quick look at where Nevada sits. Because Nevada's not even going to be close either. I looked at this before. Nevada is, is, is going to be a slaughter. Even worse. Even fucking worse. Here's DeSantis was making 8%. She was under that. As of January the 5th. Did they quit fucking taking primary? Did they quit taking polls? On January the 8th? I don't know.
they I, I guess because it's such a fucking slaughter, uh, they don't want to post it. But here's the most recent poll. According to this, January 5th through January the 8th, an Emerson College poll, which are usually pretty accurate, Trump is at 73%. How many uh, points are up? Uh, 26 delegates are available in Nevada. U.S. Virgin Islands, we can look at that, but um, these are the big ones. Uh, Missouri is going to be big. Uh, clearly, Alabama, obviously. Here's California. That can make a big, 169 delegates in California can make a big difference. As long as they keep them close. And then, of course, Texas and Florida. Is Florida going to be one of the last? 125 in Florida. So she could stay in the fucking, stay in the running, keep it close, keep this number reasonable, and then one of two states could flip this whole thing. And again, um, I'm sorry, but I don't see where there's that many. Donald Trump, if I'm not mistaken, won New Hampshire in 2016, 2020. Um, and I think he won it in the general election in both years, didn't he? I can't remember. Don't don't quote me on that. But I mean, I, I, I don't see Nikki Haley as posing that close a threat to Donald Trump in any of these fucking contests. Obviously, she's not in fucking Nevada. So much so, they're not even bother taking fucking polls. Certainly not in South Carolina, her home state. Her home fucking state. She's not even close. She's not even close. She's barely breaking 20%. And he's at 62. What's the most recent poll here? 28. That's not 28. That's That, that line is not 28. I, see, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with this goddamn thing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this thing. But he's at 68. She's at 20. He's beating her by 40 points in her own home state. This is not going to be close. And yet, I predict they're going to keep it close. For those big home runs that she's going to hit in California and Texas and uh, Arkansas, maybe, or, or Alabama and fucking um, Florida. I don't know. I'm just, and I don't think, now she could end up dropping out uh, tomorrow, for all I know. Um, I don't see that happening. She doesn't sound like she's planning on doing that. Donald Trump himself in his own acceptance speech or his, his victory speech in New Hampshire came out and said she's running around acting as if she won. She did much better than she expected, much better than the polls expected. And it seems like Ron DeSantis dropping out only fucking assisted, her, helped her. Um, I, that's... Uh, no wonder she thinks she won. Or maybe she knows something's being built through incrementalism to get to a certain point, keeping her within striking distance. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but Donald Trump won New Hampshire. Um, and I think looking at the polling numbers and I think looking at his, taking it into consideration his history in, in, in New Hampshire... I think something, and of course, who Nikki Haley is. Um, I think something odd is happening with the primaries. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.